Well, you guys were actually at the Geek Mecca, shall we say, recently at Comic-Con. So how was that experience for you both? Have you recovered yet? I mean, uh, yeah. Do you want to... It was amazing. I haven't recovered. <laughs> I'm still taking it in. It was amazing, wasn't it? It yeah. was mad. It's my first time that I've ever been. And I, I'm just like overwhelmed. I'm still like, oh my God, it wasn't Comic-Con. It was amazing. It was just so thrilling to be amongst people who were so... Um, deeply familiar with like the literature and 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 kind of are just I don't know so, so f like we I am fans of loads of different things for loads of different reasons sometimes it's of a human sometimes it's of a piece of work sometimes it's of a sock um but uh, but but everyone there is so connected to the characters um and that that's what was so thrilling and also it was the first time i'd ever seen the trailer and so there was and, and i think of myself beyond anything with sandman as a, a, its biggest fan and so to be with six thousand fans to, all of us together turning around looking up at this screen was just utterly mind-blowing yeah well, I have to say the two of you actually had such great chemistry in the series as well and like lucien for me was definitely more like his conscience kind of thing. So like, were you able to have a bit of fun with that? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. I think that their relationship is so unique and special. Um, Lucienne definitely respects him. She understands this weight that he has of the whole entire, you know, humanity's unconscious um, that he has to take responsibility for and he has to follow those rules he has to have those boundaries but I think that what is really lovely about their relationship is she kind of steps back she lets him do his thing and then she gently reminds him of you know that you don't have to be so rigid you don't have to follow the rules so you know it's not so linear and I think what Tom has done so beautifully and is magnificent in this role is that he does bring this humanity to Morpheus um, so creating the chemistry with Tom was really, for me, was really easy. And it was it was an amazing process. I loved every minute. And also, I, I think the thing that the, the, the thing, this, to put it simply, the, uh, the specific point of their relationship is that there's no other being that Morpheus spends more time with than Lucien. And... Uh, Oh, it, it, but it's, it's true. true it's, it's true. true like be, like beyond his siblings um beyond anyone else these these two beings i have spent eons together and that time breeds despite whatever hierarchy there is in their relationship a love yeah 100% um and I, I, it's it was important for that to simmer underneath anything and, uh, and one thing, uh, and, uh, as uh, Vivian said there as well, like your performance was fantastic. And even Neil himself said that once you'd auditioned, he knew that, you know, that was it. There was nobody else in his mind. So does that light a, a fire under you or does that kind of terrify you at the same time? Listen, you, you, you can't not be terrified. It's, you know, if someone goes to you, all right, you're, you, so uh, you're going to play the god of dreams, like you're, you're, you control everyone's fears and fantasies, uh, go. Um, it's impossible to figure out how on earth you do that. But to have the support of Neil, and also to have, I mean, what he said to me that was I think the most helpful thing was that it, it was an incredibly long casting process it was it took I think eight months so it was I mean the decision had rigor to it but but once the decision had been made he said you have to trust yourself we cast you for you as much as for who you are as much as for the way that you embody the character and I think that was an incredibly grounding uh, moment where I felt at sea with the sort of what I was about to embark upon. Fabulous. Well, great job to you both. And thank you so much.